path to service the race. The crash happened in the bunch as the road narrowed to cross the bridge, leaving riders strewn across the asphalt. A breakaway further up the road had already passed through that point. Energy's Valentin Farron was left dangling from the side of the bridge following the crash, unable to get back up with bikes and other riders blocking his path. Alvison de Kooning Crider assisted him by dragging him to safety. The race was immediately neutralized by the race organizer with 22.1 kilometers to go. The peloton remained stationary for about 20 minutes before the riders began moving again. However, news soon filtered through that there were no ambulances left to service the race as they were taking riders to nearby hospitals for treatment. It meant that the stage could no longer be contested for safety reasons and the remaining bunch would ride slowly behind the race vehicles. With no winner declared for stage two, day one winner Arnaud Delay remains the race leader heading into stage three. Don't miss a moment from the cycling classics and three grand tours Giro d'Italia, Tour de France, Well Hot España, and everything in between. Help us to bring you the best content possible. Please share, like, and subscribe. <laughs>